Hey guys, wanted to come to you with another quick lessons in leadership from the kings of Israel. Today we get to see that now that David is king, he wants to bring the ark of God back to Israel to be amongst the people of God. Eli blew it. As a priest, he failed to follow God. His sons took the ark into battle and lost it to the Philistines. The Philistines um, found that they were cursed because of it, brought it back to Israel, but Israel didn't understand holiness. So they left the ark apart from the people uh, for many years. And so Saul's reign as king, he didn't care about having the presence of God there. He didn't uh, just read the, the um, commands like he should have to know how important it was that the presence of God went with the people of Israel. And he didn't know uh, the manner to honor the holiness of God and the presence of God. So now David has a new zeal for God and he wants the presence of God in the ark of God to be with the people. So he decides to bring it back. The only problem is he copied the method that the Philistines used to take the ark of God uh, and bring it back to the Israelites years earlier. Um, and instead of following the commandments that God gave Moses, um, to give the Levites in how to move the Ark of God. Uh, there's an important principle at play that we understand that you can't defy the principles of God to achieve the purposes of God. And so David wanted to honor God, but he dishonored God's commandments. He thought there was a greater purpose and that he was doing this for God, but you can't do things for God that go against God's commands. That's not honoring to God. And so David realizes this after a failed attempt to bring the ark of God back. And in 1 Chronicles chapter 15 um, and in verse 12, he says uh, to the Levites, you must purify yourselves and your fellow Levites so that you can bring the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to the place I have prepared for it. Because you Levites did not carry the ark the first time, the anger of the Lord, our the anger of the Lord, our God, burst out against us. We failed to ask God how to move it properly. So they, what did they do? They said, "How did it get moved last time?" Uh, the Philistines put it on an ark, on a on a cart pulled by oxen. Oxen. David copied the manners of his enemies instead of asking for the principles of God. He realized that the call of moving the ark was by the priests who had uh, made themselves holy. They carried it on their shoulders, the presence of God on their shoulders, on the rods that went through the gold rings of the Ark of the Covenant, which was covered by the inner curtain and covered by uh, leather so that no one could view it to honor its holiness before it was set back up in the tabernacle. And so what's the long and the short story of this? is that we can't defy the purposes of God to achieve, we can't defy the principles of God to achieve the purposes of God. We have to say, like David said here, oh, wait, we failed to ask God how to move it properly. David didn't need a new revelation from God on how to follow him properly. God had already written it down in his word. He just needed to pay attention to the commands God had already given him. So often what we're doing is we're looking for God to give us a new revelation when we should just pay attention to the commandments he gave us in the first place. Now, maybe you need a new revelation. Maybe God's gonna do a new thing in your life and there's gonna be some details that are beyond just what God has given in scripture. But we wanna make sure that whenever God gives us a vision for something to do, in our attempt to achieve that, we're saying, God, what is your way? And um, how can we ask you to do this mission properly according to the commandments that you have given us? Hey, lessons in leadership, there's a lot to learn from the flaws of Saul, from David's mistakes, and from David actually repenting, seeking God, and saying, how am I supposed to proceed now? Hey, God bless you guys. I hope you learned something.